welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a review and swatches on the new Milani Color Fetish lipsticks. I'm so excited to be putting these lippies to the test today. You guys know Milani launched their nude fetish color lipsticks and they are so gorgeous. They went completely viral. They were sold out everywhere and now they came out with more shades and I'm ready to show you guys how these look on the lips. So please continue watching so you guys can see uh, these colors in action. If you're a lip lover like me, you're going to love this video. So they came out with new lipsticks that are very like floral, pinky tone, just like spring appropriate. It's giving all the spring vibes. And honestly, for me, I'm ready for spring because it is freezing here and I'm just over it. And I also have these lip liners. I have to give a huge shout out to Milani for sending the lipsticks and lip liners over to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. I'm gonna show you guys swatches with just the lipsticks and also with the lip liner that can go with it. They kind of made a similar lip liner to each one so that it could work for you. So we're gonna kind of see how those go. Milani has great lip liners, um, so I'm super excited. So let's go ahead and try on the first one, which is Puny. It's a flower, I just, I suck at pronouncing things. So let's go ahead and apply. I will say guys, apologies if the swatches aren't the best. I'm not gonna be wearing the lipstick for too long because I'm gonna have to remove it and swatch the next one. So I'm just doing these rough drafts, but look how pretty this color is. I thought it was gonna be a little too nude for me, or like a little too light, but it's honestly the perfect pinky tone. It looks great with this makeup look. This formula is everything. It is like a soft matte formula. It is the exact same formula as the new fetish lipsticks in case you guys are wondering, because I know so many of you guys love that line. So let me go ahead and remove this and then it, apply it with the lip liner. I'm going in with the color French Rose as the lip liner and let's see how this looks with the lippy. These are so creamy and they're retractable so you don't have to worry about sharpening them. If you really wanted to, you could also just wear these by themselves. I'm telling you guys, the best lip liners at the drugstore currently for me are the ones by Milani, the ones by NYX, the traditional pencil ones, you can never go wrong with that, and also the new ones by e.l.f. Those are like my favorites. Okay, that is perfect. So this lip liner is great if you're somebody that wants like pretty much the same tone, maybe a pinch bit darker than the actual lipstick. You're gonna really love this lip liner. Also, if you're somebody that prefers to line the lips first, just so that you get like that perfect shape and you don't like go over your lips with just a regular lipstick, then you'll really like having the lip liner underneath and then having the um, lipstick. I think it'll just look phenomenal. Together, they look like a dream, a perfect match made in heaven. Um, that will just give you the prettiest finish. So uh, this one is the first lipstick that we have here. Okay, next up we have the shade Petal and this looks like it's gonna be a deeper tone. I can already tell. I love how creamy these are. This is a really, really pretty color. It's giving me Valentine's Day vibes, like for a Valentine's Day dinner. I know this type of pink is not everybody's cup of tea, but let me just tell you, it is so pretty. And once on, I just feel like you'll definitely be feeling yourself because I'm feeling myself right now. Now let's try it with the matching lip liner. Okay, so the matching lip liner is Desert Rose. Now we're gonna put the lipstick on top. Do you guys see that pigment? Like that's next level. Like, look how gorgeous the lip liner with the lipstick looks. So this is definitely a lipstick that I would want to lip line just because it is more like pinky that I would want to make sure that it's like perfectly lined with the lip shape and it just looks to perfection. This is the shade Petal in the lipstick and the shade Desert Rose in the Milani lip liner. So now we're gonna be going in with the next shade. This is the shade Blossom. This is definitely more of a pop. Let's see how it looks on the lips. Such a gorgeous pop. This is giving me Barbie vibes. But this is definitely one of those pinks that like makes your teeth look whiter than they may be. You know what I'm saying? So this one is really pretty. Now let's go in with the lip liner. Okay, I put on a little bit of some powder to just kind of powder the lips. I will say this left a little bit of a tint on my lips when I removed the shade Blossom. I feel like always when you go like with the more bright tone lipsticks, you always have to be mindful that like, it's gonna be, you know, one of those lipsticks that 
you have to be careful because they definitely are more of that pop. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the shade Audacious Pink and I'm going to be lining my lips with this for that lippy. So I have paired the lipstick and the lip liner. It looks very pretty. I definitely do feel like this is a pinch lighter than the lipstick, but it does work once it all comes together. I feel like it makes sure to kind of keep the lipstick within the line. So I would recommend it if you do get this pop of color. So this is Audacious Pink and Blossom. So the next shade I have here is Fleur and I'm going to be applying this. This is like a pretty like violety or like purpley burgundy shade. This is giving me fall. You guys know I, like I just said, I love fall, but I can definitely see myself wearing this like during spring perhaps. It's such a pretty pop. It also kind of reminds me of something Selena would wear. Like I just, I'm getting that like Selena vibe from this color and I really, really love it. Definitely a color that I would have to line with because you guys can see. I was kind of like, am I gonna like this color? Cause I feel like this is kind of like out of my comfort zone, but I love it. So the lip liner is Magenta Mood. Let's put this to the test. So that is the lip liner, Magenta Mood, and now let's go back in with the lipstick. Ooh, that's like a perfect match. Definitely see myself reaching for this probably like more like late summer to like fall. That's kind of like my vibe when it comes to this. Um, it could even look good for like a, I don't know, like an evening event in the spring or summer um, if you kind of want to take it to like that pop. So the lip liner and the lipstick look fantastic together. They definitely are like the perfect match. Um, they like go together perfectly. This is Magenta Mood and Fleur together. Okay, next up we have this gorgeous like red tone shade. This is called Poppy. I'm really excited for this because I just love a good like pretty like bold red. So let's see how this looks. Ooh, this is giving me Valentine's Day dinner vibes. This is so gorgeous. Like y'all, you guys need this lipstick for Valentine's Day. This will be the one for your perfect date night. It's $8.99. Like what? more could you ask for a beautiful red 8.99 a gorgeous formula chef's kiss wow this is so pretty i can't wait to do it with a lip liner because i know that's just gonna set the whole thing off like it's just gonna look stunning but poppy Whew. okay now we're going in with the lip liner in sassy cherry and let's go ahead and see how this does we have the lip liner on let's put the red back on poppy oh yeah that's a great match so this is the lip liner in Sassy Cherry with the lipstick in Poppy. And it's, it's definitely one of my top three favorites from this new collection. Last but not least, this shade right here. This is in the shade Dahlia. And I am ready for this. This is giving me like all the fall season vibes. It looks very similar to the shade Fleur, but Fleur is a little bit more brighter. The shade Dahlia is a little bit more deeper. Okay, so this is the shade Dahlia. Definitely a gorgeous shade, but for me personally, I won't be rocking this anytime soon. This is a go-to shade for the fall. This is when I like to wear those tones as the fall season. So I will definitely be taking this out of my makeup drawer come fall and just rocking it because this is a gorgeous, gorgeous fall evening out. Leaves falling is a statement. Okay, so now we're gonna do a lip liner. So now I'm going in with the shade Brazen Berry for lip liner. Okay, once I have that on with the lip liner, it definitely made me wanna really rock it. It is so pretty. It is really nice and lined around the lips, which I really love. Um, so this is definitely a perfect match lip liner and lipstick wise if you are looking to get the shade. So this is the shade Dahlia with the shade Brazen Berry on the lips. We've officially swatched all the new Milani Color Fetish lipsticks and I'm ready to give you guys my thoughts on them. So these do retail for $8.99 and I definitely 100% think they are worth the price. Definitely check these out. The new floor ones are beautiful, especially for the springtime, summertime, and even fall time, as you guys saw. Um, they also have their nudes collection. So if you're looking for a really pretty nude lipstick, they also have those. If you haven't gotten a chance to purchase them, I highly recommend you do so. They have them over at 
Ulta. They also have them on Milani's website. You get such a pretty color range for $8.99. I mean, what is there to beat? These are cruelty free. They're vegan and they are made in Italy. They give you that soft, luxurious, soft matte finish which is always great with beautiful pigmentation like i literally cannot tell you how beautiful this pigment is there's a reason why these are always out of stock and they are so viral because they are truly a beautiful shade the milani lip liners do retail for 7.99 i also think that's a great deal i mean you're looking at that compared to the high-end ones these perform like high-end as well they're that nice very creamy jelly consistency they're retractable so they're gonna work great and all these lip liners that i swatched literally complement each and every one of these colors so if you are somebody that's looking for a lip liner that's gonna look good and complement the lipstick and help you really stay within the lines and have like that perfect lippy then definitely recommend getting the lip liners because it'll be like that perfect match all the colors that i tried on today are very beautiful and they definitely suit different occasions so my favorite one are these three and i'm going to tell you why for each one so this one is in the shade petal it's the one that i'm wearing right now it is like a perfect pinky tone that really goes with your lip color it's not like too light pink but it's not like too dark pink it's like the perfect neutral pinky tone that literally looks like your lip but enhanced next color that i really love is this pop of color right here this is the shade blossom this is literally like the perfect spring to summer bold lip moment whether it's for like an evening out an event or anything it may be like this will be your color it's so pretty it's definitely a pop not for everybody but i think that this can really elevate a look and be a conversation starter you'll have somebody come out to be like oh my gosh what lippy is that it looks so pretty it is such a gorgeous color the prettiest pop you can think of. The last one has to be this gorgeous color in Poppy. This red is absolute chef's kiss. For your Valentine's Day dinner date, this is gonna be the perfect red. I'm telling you right now, it is so beautiful. It is so moisturizing, so hydrating. So I would recommend this pop of red for this Valentine's Day season, thank me later. Or if you love a good red lipstick and you're a fan of lipsticks, like the uh, traditional lipsticks, you don't want a liquid lipstick, none of that, you want this. This is gonna be the one for you, $8.99. Trust me, check it out. You're not gonna regret it. Those are my top three that I personally would go out and get if I were you. I think that this new Milani color fetish collection is a 10 out of 10. If you guys enjoyed watching my review where I swatched all these new Milani fetish lipsticks, please give this video a big thumbs up. Let's me know to continue doing these for you guys. I really love sitting down and doing lip swatch videos because it's so fun to kind of see how they all look on the lips. And I am a huge lipstick lover. So anything lips, I'm all about, all willing to try on my channel. I hope you guys have a fabulous day and don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed, and stay beautiful. And I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye guys.